Hello everyone, praise, honor, and glory to the Almighty Father, creator of the heaven and earth. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For today's devotional, I'm reading from the Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyakalomi. Our theme scripture verse is taken from Psalm 82 verse 6, and it reads, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. And our topic today is, Let Your Divinity Soar. How can anyone read what the psalmist penned in the scripture above and still preach, believe or teach a message that tries to convince God's people that they are mere humans? That isn't consistent with the gospel of Jesus Christ. The message of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that ye are gods. Even Jesus reiterated it in John 10 verse 34. Therefore, when you profess your divinity, you're not arrogating anything to yourself that God himself hasn't already said about you. The more you have and walk in the consciousness of your divinity, the better and faster your growth in Christ. Everything in the epistle teaches us that our humanity was nailed to the cross. Romans 6 verse 6 tells us that our old man is crucified with him. When you were born again, you were born after Christ as a new type of being. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Peter said, We are partakers, sharers of the divine nature. Says in 2 Peter 1 verse 4, When someone says we are only humans, it suddenly shows how ignorant they are of their divine life. If you say you're human, you'll suffer what humans suffer, the frustrations, depression, sickness, disease, lack, pain, misery, satanic oppression, and corrupting influences in this world. But if you profess your divinity and walk accordingly, you live as a champion in this world, over and above the elements, the sufferings, distress, miseries, and pain. You might ask, how about when we feel discouraged? Isn't that part of our humanity? But that's the very thing that God said we must never allow. He said to Joshua, I've commanded you to be strong and brave. Don't ever be afraid or discouraged, says in Joshua 1 verse 9. It doesn't matter what happens to you. Refuse to be discouraged. No matter the adversities you face, be bold, courageous, and audacious in faith. James 1 verse 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Humans cry when they go through tests and trials, but we rejoice, because we know that in all these things we are more than conquerors, says Romans 8 verse 37. Hallelujah! Let us confess, I have and walk in the consciousness of my divine life. I walk in dominion over sickness, disease, death, discouragements, and frustrations that affect the human nature. I have the divine life and nature of God in me that makes me victorious always. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do have a blessed and glorious day.